Suicide Squad Short Movie Review 3D. Briefly, the 3D is pretty good. It doesn't seem like a post-conversion. It adds depth, and there are several times where things come at the viewer, and it feels like these were specifically made for that. Katana slices through someone's skull, and it kind of flies at you, and Incubus throws his tendrils towards the camera as well. It's the origin story, because that's what comic book movies need these days. Basically, a series of metahumans who have decided to use their considerable skills to murder people are recruited as a suicide squad. They're sent into Midway City to deal with what they're told is a terrorist attack, and basically they're strong enough that they can deal with the actual situation and they're controllable because they have, you know, there's, there's leverage on them and they do have a bomb implanted in their neck, each of them, which two people can trigger at any time. So it's not just about, and, and one of those people is leading them and the other person has threatened that if that leader gets killed, she will blow every of these kill switches. This is very much a David Iyer film, but a diluted one. You can tell that it's a PG-13 and he's he really he's he's scratching at the door. He really badly wants to make it an R, but he still gets to do, you know, there's still a language and just barely slurs. It's still really disturbing and unpleasant. It's ugly and brutal without hating the, the viewer. But it is also, you can tell that it's his first comic book movie, although he fares pretty decently. He especially embraces the supernatural elements, which you kind of had to for this to really work, but Nevertheless, it's this is a possessed female character who you actually believe as a credible threat. This is not The Last Dance, Dark Phoenix, all over again. You can tell that this has to fit inside an established franchise, which Ayer has not done before, and it does kind of hamper what he can do. But it does a decent job with the material. Some of the characters are somewhat different, but they get to have personality. Only a few are really kind of just there. Really, Killer Croc, Boomerang, and to an extent Diablo don't get a lot to do. Diablo does get some good dramatic stuff, while Deadshot and Harley Quinn both get really great action, personality, identity kind of moments and pretty good drama as well. It, it doesn't quite know how to start. It keeps starting and then stopping and then doing. It, it opens with the basically the roll call that you see in the trailers. Okay, here's this character. Flashback, here's their backstory. This is what they can do. Okay, on to next character. And it feels somewhat... It, 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 it feels like it needs to get this out of the way. I would say they could have opened the movie with the gunship crashing into the city, and then over the course of the film, we learn more about who these characters are. They're interesting enough that you don't need to tell us who they are before we start seeing them do stuff. And once the movie does get going, it does eventually get to be fairly formulaic. And pretty predictable for a David Iyer movie. He does, unfortunately, also bring some of his lesser qualities. The, the writing can be really convenient and, yeah, less than impressive. The ending is not that good, although that's not entirely his fault. This is simultaneously the darkest... There's the, the body count is ridiculous. And the the most kind of I don't know if optimistic is the word, but it 
of of the DCEU so far. It, the the ending actually makes you feel like, oh hey, it's not all completely terrible and oh wow, that was actually somewhat of a Hollywood. It actually kind of followed convent you know, it doesn't end in a way that kind of makes you think, okay, I, I guess I'll watch the next one, but I don't really know the way that Man of Steel and Dawn of Justice do. It's much, much better than Dawn of Justice, but that's the easy part. It's at times as good as Man of Steel. The, the two of them have different strengths and weaknesses somewhat, but whether you're going into this blind, a devoted fan, or somewhere in between, there's going to be stuff that you, you really get into. There's going to be stuff that doesn't quite do it for you. There's definitely going to be stuff you're disappointed by. It's a movie that has a lot of action and a lot of good to great character moments, but it just does not quite grip you. I'm not bitter and like hugely disappointed by this movie, but I do want to note I went into it expecting to love it some at least to an extent because I love David Iyer I really got into the comics that this is based on and I like a lot of the casting and it just did not quite grab me I was I felt almost guilty that I wasn't getting more into the action which comparatively I expected Jason Bourne to be terrible and hey, to an extent it is but I got into the action in that movie If you like this review and want a more detailed one, the link is in the description box. I've reviewed other parts of this franchise, the links are in the description box. Please comment, thumbs up, and subscribe for more content.